So if you haven't already gotten an introduction to Stellarium, you'll probably want to go back and watch some of those videos. But now building on that, we can start to look at some of the features of the sky. So the first thing that we're going to focus on is the altitude azimuth grid, sometimes just called the azimuth grid. If we come down here on the bottom, we notice there's two different options here. One of them looks sort of more like a bullseye, and that's the azimuth grid. When we turn that on, we see that it divides the sky up. Now it's got some of the numbers up here on the top, but as we rotate around, we can see that some of the numbers, when I'm looking east, is going to be 90 degrees. When I look towards the south, it's 180 degrees. When I look towards the west, it's 270 degrees. And then as I rotate back around, I get to zero or 360 degrees. So these are our compass readings as we're going around the sky. Now in addition to this azimuth going around the sky, we have altitude. The horizon starts at zero, then it goes up plus 10, plus 20, plus 30, plus 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then finding 90, which would be all the way at the top. If I zoom out, I see that this divides the screen into a grid so that everything on the sky has a position. Now we can then go in and zoom in on a particular object, and you would be able to get a rough estimate of its altitude and azimuth, or if you zoom in, and you can actually click on something to keep it centered as you're zooming in. And to keep it centered, there's a little button down here. And then as I zoom in, it will actually break the grid into finer and finer points so that I don't just have a rough estimate for where it is. I can get a more precise estimate. And notice that this uses degrees and then minutes. When we're zoomed really far in, one of the things that you'll notice is that as time goes by, the object will actually be slowly shifting across this grid. In the video, the grid lines are actually sort of changing as they're going, and it's a little bit more dramatic effect. And that's, of course, because things move across the sky. You can come in here and stop time so that you can find it at a very specific time. And like we talked about before, you can use your time controls to set a very specific time and then find out where it is at that specific time. Now it's a little hard to read on the video because of everything that's sort of overlapping. But when you click on an object, like the moon in this case, you would be able to find information. And there's one line up here, which is the azimuth and altitude, which gives you that azimuth position and the altitude position as degrees, minutes, and even seconds as we go through on our angles. So that is how you set up the altitude and azimuth, what they mean, and how you can find the rough coordinates or the more specific coordinates of any particular object.